In this video, we're going to discuss symmetry and how to show it algebraically. So first off, if a function is even, that means that f of negative x equals f of x. So if we change the sign on the input, we still get the same output. And we say that the function has y-axis symmetry, and a good example is x squared. Because if we were to rotate x squared about the y-axis, we would get the exact same function. So what we see going over here on the right side, we want to see a mirror image over on the left side. The next time symmetry is for odd functions, and that's where f of negative x equals negative f of x. So changing the sign on the input changes the sign on the output. And then um, we get what's called a graph that's symmetric about the origin. So the origin is the point 0, 0. And what symmetry about the origin looks like, x cubed is a good example. What's going on up here is going on down here. So it looks as if, if we were to gr flip the graph over the y-axis and then the x-axis, we would get the exact same graph. Finally, we have neither, which means there's no symmetry in it. And most functions, in general, are neither. So let's talk about how to show this algebraically. So we got a few, I got a few examples here. We're going to do one of each. So f of x, let's see. Now, showing even, odd, or neither, all start with the same step. And that comes from putting a negative x in as our input. So we calculate f of negative x, which is negative x to the fourth plus 2. Because of the even exponent, negative x raised to the fourth simplifies down to x to the fourth. The even exponent is going to make the negative cancel, plus 2. This is exactly equal to the original function, f of x, and so by definition, we have an even function. Odd. Again, we're going to start the same way. We're going to calculate g of negative x. So we're going to put negative x's in for our x. We got negative x cubed minus 3 times negative x. Negative x cubed is negative x times negative x times negative x. So with the odd exponent, it'll actually keep the negative sign, so we get negative x cubed when we simplify. Minus 3 times minus x gives us a plus 3x. Now if I were to factor a negative out of there, I'd get negative times x cubed minus 3x, which is exactly equal to negative g of x. So when g of negative x equals negative g of x, we have an odd function. Finally, last function. Again, we're going to start the same way. We're going to calculate f of negative x. You might be starting to see a relationship here. We'll talk about it at the end. Negative x to the fifth plus a negative x plus 1. The odd exponent means negative x raised to the fifth will still be a negative x to the fifth plus a negative x, so minus x plus 1. Now clearly this is not equal to h of x. It Only two of the signs switch, not all three, so it's also not equal to negative h of x. So it's not even, it's not odd, therefore it's neither. And that's how we can show them algebraically. Now what you're noticing, I did all polynomials here. Now we don't only check polynomials, there's all sorts of functions that can be even, even or odd. But you're probably noticing the relationship if all the exponents are odd, we have an odd function. If they're all even, because this would be like x to the 0, we have an even function. If they're mixed, we have neither. So with polynomials, we can make that generalization. But that's how we show symmetry algebraically.